Is it nighttime? Doesn't look like nighttime. Still some time left. Fuck yeah. Hi, Kaito. Momota, luminary of the stars. But, uh, unfortunately, in this playthrough, I probably won't be able to. Whoa! Dude, there's a Monokuma right there! God damn it. <laughs> Click. What's up? You need to talk to me? I hang out with Kaito. Are you kidding me? That's right. Yeah, okay. Let's go to your room and chat. Go to my room? Spend some time with Kaito. Kaito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kaito a present? <laughs> Absolutely. What? Tentacle machine? Oh, please. Please. Are you giving this to me? You know me so well. <laughs> that actually works. Alright, thanks for this cool gift. I'll tell you a cool story. Yo! If you're back, that means you really want to listen to my stories, huh? Well, if you say so, didn't you just actually say so, like, just now? You were the one who said you'd finish the story next time. Hey, so... So where do we leave off? Uh, never talk to your pirate like, ever again. That's... Off of rivals, hordes of pirates, and you just left your ship. So... Ah, uh, that's right. What happened after that? Yeah. I remember. Something amazing happened before I got off my boat. Say it was amazing, but you forgot it. I'll just keep that to myself. <laughs> I mean... After the battle, I was headed for the port. But I, ca I got caught in a storm. I thought I was done for. But right when I was preparing for the worst. My boat was eaten by a whale. Right. Hmm. Ah, I see. Do you? Come on, man. What kind of reaction is that? You think I'm lying? It was a whale, man. The second smartest thing in the world after me. The second smartest thing in the world after me. Are whales smart? <laughs> Probably saw my greatness and hid me in its stomach, away from the storm. I didn't expect this kind of tall tale from you, Kaido. Listen up. Once I made it to port, it stepped on the... Oh, okay, I thought you said the whale stepped on the land. I was like, now this is getting just wild. Once I made it to the port and stepped on the land, something occurred to me. I tried to conquer the sea, and it won. So I decided my next move would be... It's finally out into the outer space part. Yeah. To conquer the land! Oh my god. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that face is me. <laughs> I mean... I sold my boat and all my possessions, and I entered the jungle. As much as I liked the sea, it was a wild frontier. Cutting my own path through the foliage, I came across something. Yeah. A giant anaconda that could swallow a man whole. A whole man? This part of the story seems less grand than the part about conquering the seas. But, you know. but that was just the beginning. Defeating him opened a gate. Huh? This man is the best storyteller known to man. A gate? To what? Listen up. A gate to the underground empire? He was the watchman. Uh, um... The underground empire. Yeah. Yeah, there was a whole civilization in the underground cave. I invaded their empire and made the emperor my sidekick. But you have a good knack for making everyone your sidekick. But the time limit came so fast and I had to go back to my gramps house. Why? The time limit? Huh? Well, yeah, my summer vacation was over. Duh. <laughs> You had a pretty long summer vacation, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, I still don't know why you decided to become an astronaut. And that hasn't been answered. What? Why would I want to be an astronaut? Was that what we were talking about? Huh? Yes, that's what we were talking about. Of course! That's simple. The universe is the final frontier for me to conquer. It's sort of cool, isn't it? Are astronauts the best? Absolutely, when you're one of them. <laughs> Essentially, because it's cool was your reason. He's such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kaido's report. I like how some people have this actual bonding with people, and then there's just Kaido telling me a very, very long story about his summer vacation. <laughs> <sighs> Kinda looked quite pleased with his story. And I return to my room. I would be pleased with a story like that. Now it's night time. Ding dong, ding dong. 
that behind him? Right behind the hanging Shuichi. This is an announcement. What's this place called again? Hmm? What time is it right now? I forgot. Hey. Actually, have I always been alone? I forgot that too. I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. Did you kill Monofani? Oh my Christ! Why did you just pop out from? That's scary. I knew it. He's helpless without me. <laughs> Poor Monotaro. I love how smooth she just sidled to the side of that. That was beautiful. All right, time to go to training. Kaido and Maki should be in the courtyard. Hell yeah! I wonder if Gonta's gonna be outside again. No, it's Samugi and Kibo. Shuichi. What's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room, as the nighttime announcement just played. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. After I'm done, I'll head straight back. Yeah. Yes, please do. Another murder could not occur if you're out of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kukichi said all these unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaido may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being so easily swayed. Absolutely not. But Kokichi's never serious. It's probably all this idea of a joke, right? Hmm. He may have been joking. He may have been serious, too. Very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. Remember. I never have any idea what he's thinking. That's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should not occur as long as we stay vigilant. Yeah. Yeah, let's do our best. Hell yeah, you guys. <laughs> Wait! Fuck, I didn't talk to Samugi! God damn it. Dots? Hmm. Kaido? What's wrong? You have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? Because you punched him in the face? Nah. Stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, huh. how about the three of us just talk? Yeah, it sounds good. Huh? Huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. You're right. Planned conversations don't exist. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Gotta pick a random spot in the courtyard. And they all sat down. Aw. So, what are we gonna talk about? Oh my god. <laughs> didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then let's talk about Maki. Me? What about me? <laughs> you know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. Is this like our own kind of version of getting a, getting a friendship fragment? <laughs> For example, what blood type do you like? She's not a vampire. What blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Only a little. Well, whatever. <laughs> huh. Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. Awful, even. <laughs> then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? <laughs> for asking questions. Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. You just asked what kind of blood does she like? You can't give me tips. I refuse. Uh, really? Sorry. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. Oh my god. I grew up in an orphanage. Oh. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Aww. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me. But I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Ooh. Do you want to die? Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? 
the right to choose? When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Jesus. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. The guy in the bottom left is getting fucking destroyed, by the way. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. Jesus. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? Hmm. I still think about that all the time. Monkey sighed deeply after burying her soul. <sighs> That's all. Wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? It's pretty interesting. Uh, okay. No, Monkey, that was a burden you've been carrying all this. You're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. Aww. You know, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um, really? Listen up. You can try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Roll was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. <laughs> That's true. It might be thanks to the training. Aw, look at that face. Got it. Obviously. My training is based on systematic method. Uh, um... That's kind of vague. <laughs> look how happy we all are. We're fucking precious. Spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but... It might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to keep my friends alive. Whoa, where am I? The he Why is it green? Hello? What happened? His white half's whiter than freshly made rice. His black half's blacker than the darkest night. Did you call for me? It's the Mana 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 Kuma! Hmm. You actually came. So I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? <laughs> it's really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Oh. Yeah. Technically, it's not a rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Right? Right, I was thinking the same thing. This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And another thing. With that said, you're not even going to try and use that motive? You really don't get it. You don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's what I've been thinking. So I tried coming up with ways to use it. And finally, I came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting. So if we use the motive there, 
then I think that would be really or that would really spice up the game. So are you in? <laughs> you really are an evil bastard. That's coming from Monokuma. Holy shit. Yeah. Of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more <gasps> fun. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. That face? Holy fuck. That's actually fucking horrifying. I have never seen- Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Put that away! What the fuck? I will drag this world into the pits of terror, using my villainous power to commit evil. <gasps> okay. This game is about murdering people. This game is about killing your friends and finding- That- That was the most horrifying fucking thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. Are you serious? That was awful. Thank God it's the morning. I mean, my room's pitch black, but thank God it's the morning. I would have fucking screamed. I think I kind of did. Oh my God, I need to get over that. That was awful. You can trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest ones you want to watch out for. Because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. That's fucking... I almost called him Rick and Morty. That's fucking fast and... No, that's not it. It's a fucking car. I don't know the name. I already forgot. Back to the Future. That's the one. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. Wait, what did he just say? That's not the right button. It's honestly easier to go through life without... Telling a single lie. Seriously? Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. By the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. That's ironic. <laughs> you see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about the trend so there can be more stupid honest people. <laughs> wow. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> uh, fuck you. <laughs> cool. Actually, did you just fucking phase into existence? Hmm. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's now 8 a.m. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. Who? He better not pop up out of nowhere. That's fine, as long as he's happy. I'm fine with that. Aw. Maybe not today, but someday. I'm gonna be happy too. Did you phase into exit? What do you have a stick? What's going on? I need you, Monofani. What? I... Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Oh, is he gonna stab himself? Hey. Wait, you silly man. Yeah. Huh? Your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. Alright, come here. I'll sew you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Monofani. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? That's... So not like you. The end. Thank you? What the hell kind of ending was that? Was there even a start? <laughs> it was way too long of an announcement. Need to go to the dining hall. I guess you're right. Holy shit, that Kokiji face needs to get out of my skull. Thank God Monokuma can't make faces like that. Holy shit. <laughs> um, Good morning, Kaito. Oh. Hey, bro. Perfect timing. Can I get your opinion on something? Huh? For what? I mean... Well, it's about our training. Like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method. But I feel like something's missing. Uh, um... We need more people. Only done sit-ups and push-ups so far. That's right. Even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow, 
I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some kind of mental training. Ah. Now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Oh. Good idea. Practicing with those would be great training exercise. I'm ready to get fucking eviscerated by Maki tonight. All right, let's not wait till wait. Let's not wait till night. We're gonna do the special training as soon as possible. Should I have to go with Kaito? Uh, obviously. <laughs> All right, I got it. All right. It's decided. I'll bring Maki Rawl. So let's meet up at the usual place. But first, breakfast. See you there. Hell yeah. That's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna get fucking slammed with a sword. Someone is in the very, very back. What are they doing? Don't tell. Hey! Come out! More bugs. Come talk to Gonta! Gonta! What is wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh. Good morning, Shuichi. Not looking for person, looking for tiny bug. What the fuck are these bugs? Hmm. I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Hmm. Gonta no can find him. Don't you see him lots of times? So Gonta pretty sure it's not mistake. Hmm. I see. But Gonta happy Shuichi love bugs so much. Huh? I, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? You hate bugs? Wait! No, I love them, Gonta. I said that before, right? You're right. Oh yeah, you good person. So of course you like bugs. Allow Gonta. Gonta go find tiny bug for Shuichi, no matter what it takes. Look forward to it. I will. It's no use. I still get chills thinking about the insect meet and greet. That also strikes me, you know, I never really noticed it about Gonta's person. But Gonta has like a little, I don't know, Call it like a, a small terrarium he keeps like hoisted over himself yeah hoisted <laughs> but fucking i don't know it's, it's cool uh oh hmm. where's miyu and kokichi Jeez. isn't there one more of us missing as well no we have nine I understand why Gukichi's gone, but where's Miyu? Hmm. She's probably messing with the computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Hmm. Messing with machines and computers is all she's good for. Now she's good for making stupid sexual jokes and making everything awkward. I don't know what she could be up to. Huh? What's wrong? Um. Gonta's just still thinking since yesterday. How can Gonta be useful? What? Gonta no can think of anything. So frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't gotta make such a scary face. Besides, it's not like you. That's just something we all gotta think about. That's right. We should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Why does everyone hate Kibo? Hey! <laughs> Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. You admit it's true. Huh? I guess. I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. Alright! Now that it's settled, let's eat. If you don't eat well, you can't think well. Miyu and Kokichi really not gonna show up? We finished eating breakfast and then returned to our rooms. Wow, they never even showed up. We needed to get our thoughts together. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. Oh, fuck. That malice is Kokichi. I'm also worried what's up with Miyu. I have training with Kaito now. He said it's the usual place. I'll meet up in the courtyard. Got it. Ah, oh, there you are, bro. Well... I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well? You brought the thing we need for our new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi! Pass it here. Okay. Here, but is it usable? Hmm. It's a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Maki Roll? Ah, oh, that's right, Maki. <sighs> so you didn't tell Kaito yet? Tell Kaito what? When I first started working, I botched a mission with a katana. Oh. Since then, I decided not to use swords. I see. Oh, I see. Well. Don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. But you know. Nah, it's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. Alright! 
All right, tell us about it now. I'm listening to all of it. <laughs> what? Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures. I get it. But didn't I tell you? Maki roll. Maki roll. Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it and move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. But I don't mind talking about it. Just a warning. It's a boring. It's a boring. It's a boring story. Before she would just told me to mind my own business. She clearly gets a. Uh, you know, she hits it off better with Kaido than you. Maki changed a lot since then. Well. He's planning on assassination. Need to gather detailed information first. Need to know the target, the schedule, movements, friends, acquaintances. For the particular target, he normally work late into the night. When I looked further into his schedule, I found he was into some nerdy hobbies. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Samugi? That's right. Yeah, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay from Maki's mouth. I told you. While I observed my target's private life, I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my weapon. Uh, um... How? Okay. A prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How's it different from a normal carrying case? Well... Samugi would know. It's specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can accommodate large props and it's convenient to carry around. I placed a katana into the carrying case and made my move. How annoying. But then the people around thought I was a cosplayer and something odd happened. Huh? It was botched because everyone took pictures of you? <sighs> On that day they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had to go. Wait, the target had gone too. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character who also carried a katana. So everyone took pictures of her. They thought I was cosplaying that character. Holy shit, she's so young. So I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually a real. Sounds like a close call. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what this serious failure of yours is gonna be. Okay. Honestly, it was much cuter than I expected. <laughs> Don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. That's right. I was branded as a failure because of something so stupid. They didn't donate to the orphanage anymore. Then it would have been the end. Oh. You're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. It's not that funny. I'm really sorry for laughing. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. Eh! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Jeez. You don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. Maki turned her head to the side with a pout. <laughs> that expression on her face, opening up to us with her stories. I never could have imagined this. My expression of her, or my impression of her, had changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. But Maki's right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No. We will become friends. We'll definitely get out of here. After the bout of training with the sword, I returned to my room. Hey, I leveled up! It's another free time. What to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries, but I can't figure out this academy. I don't have many clues, but that's no excuse. Boom. Ah, that's all for me. <laughs> I'm tired.